Hi, so this is Gustavo, the Director of Ways to Lift Forever. I'm just going to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. So how are you finding shooting so far? How's it going? It's going fine. We've been very lucky so far because we're in the north east of England mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be raining in the winter and we could the weather. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's <laughs> sunny. We, I, I feel very lucky really. Good, good. And how are you finding working with Robbie? Are you pleased with his performance so far? Because obviously he's very integral to the overall success. I think it's, uh, it's amazing for a kid of his age. And, uh, he can concentrate like a, like an adult uh, actor, and um, well, I quite enjoy working with him and the other kids, but especially him because he's here every day, and I and I find it's difficult for an actor to be on almost every shot we do and be concentrated. You know, he's a he's a 13 year old, he's, he's a teenager, so he, he he wants to have fun and stuff. But when it comes to let's go for a take, he's into it and he becomes sound and into it. So it's great. And overall, how would you describe the film to audiences? How would you encourage them to go and see this film? Um, well, I think it's, uh, in a way, even it's a story about two children that have got cancer, I think that um, the film talks about loads of things that happen to all of us, like uh, dreams you want to fulfill, things that, problems you have inside the family that you need to solve, the happiness and the sadness of relationship between human beings. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I think everyone who goes and see the film will find part of his own story on the screen, which is very nice, what I like from the book. Oh, I understand. Mm. So is there anything that you personally connect with that happens in the film that you can specifically relate to? I personally found um, very strange that a story that dealt with the death of children could be uplifting, it could mm -hmm. be happy in a way. and. That, um, at first, when I read the book, I thought, well, I'm not going to make a film about this. But then as days went by, and I read other books or scripts, I kept thinking about Wish to Live Forever. And so I went back to the book, and I read it, and, it, and then I understood that the, that the story, the book and the film, is not talking about death, but about how to live your life. And, and it's written in the book, and I like people to get that from the film, that, that life, every minute counts when it comes to living mm -hmm. so you, you should make the most of it and, and I think I mean I hope we're achieving that well I certainly felt that reading it so watching it I'm sure that will come across even more strongly so. I'm sure I'm sure it will thank you very much for me. thank Wish you wish you all the best bye bye